We have Marianne Proctor here with us running for State Representative District 60. Hey, Marianne, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I can. I am the Christian constitutional conservative candidate running for state representative. I will be primarying Sale Santoro. I am not a politician. However, I am a healthcare worker. I have spent 20 years in the healthcare field working as a speech language pathologist. I've been in a lot of settings, but primarily in outpatient rehab, where my job was to help people with acquired brain injury to successfully go to school, return to the workforce, or become independent at home. And now my husband and I live in a union where we have this comfortable life and I'm, I love it. I'm actively volunteering in the community. I'm a coach for girls on the run. I lead Bible studies. I mentor young moms. Um, I'm involved with my church. And now I am running for office. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Really, that was answered in 2020 and 2021. We really experienced excessive unconstitutional government overreach by a tyrannical government, and um, there was no pushback. My representative was silent. He was silent on the mandates. And then when the schools were shuttered and we saw what was going on at the schools, what curricula was being taught with the CRT, and, um, and if parents went to go have their say, and if they were in op opposition to the school boards, they were labeled domestic terrorists, and they weren't allowed to make decisions for their kids, particularly with masks. As a speech pathologist, I can tell you that masking our children for years, we are still masking our children in Boone County. The negative impacts it does on their cognitive, their emotional, their social, and their mental well-being is um, a detriment that it may take years, if ever, to overcome. And my representative was silent on the masks. So I did what any normal citizen did. I went and voted. And then I went and protested. I was never a protester, but I am now. So I got really good. I went down to Frankfurt and I protested the mandates and I wasn't heard. I was standing in unity with the nurses and the healthcare workers of St. E's. We were out there protesting for bodily autonomy and we weren't heard, certainly not by my representative. So um, I found out that really all politics is local. So when I was finding out what, why is he silent, what's going on? Well, I found out it's because he's busy raising our taxes. So <laughs> you look at House Bill 561 uh, that he's been pushing for four or five years to raise gas taxes, penalize people who drive fuel efficient cars and penalize those who drive hybrids. So he's done that. And he's also been working to increase our county clerk fees by 100, 500%. And those are just a few of the taxes that he was raising. While meanwhile, the government was shutting down our businesses, crushing our economy and doing these punitive penalties and determining who was essential and who is not. So those are the reasons I'm running. I am running to push back. I will not be silent on the mandates. Um, it's discriminatory and it's unconstitutional. I will not be silent on school choice. I think parents absolutely have their best children's interests in mind, and they should make the decisions about the curricula that their children are taught. And they should be able to say whether their children are masked or not, not bureaucrats. And then uh, my third issue is really on the taxes. Certainly, um, we have suffered during COVID, and my representative wants to raise taxes to hurt us more. Certainly when gas is at an all time high, thanks to the things that are going on that we can't control, but we can certainly control what's going on in Frankfurt. So that is what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to take our voices to Frankfurt and where we are serving, we the people. So we would like to invite you to our fundraiser. I'm doing it jointly with Steve Rawlings from District 66. We're doing it on Valentine's Day at Zozo's Tavern in Burlington from 5.30 to 7.30. We're gonna have some light refreshments. We also will have a few other Boone County candidates running. So Chet Hand and Emily Moore will be there as well. It's an opportunity really just to meet and mingle with the candidates. Uh, we're each gonna speak a little bit, no long boring speeches, but just an opportunity to get to know us, to ask us questions um, and to gather your support.